Soul Quest, and you're watching Trending Talk. This Saturday, April 11th, 9 p.m. on Instagram Live, it is going down. Mm, let's get ready to rumble! RZA versus DJ Premier. Come on. <laughs> I am too excited about this one. This is for real. This is a Godzilla versus King Kong man it, it oh like I, i've been watching a lot of the different dj battles and everything a lot of the producer battles and stuff and it's been cool but it ain't been one like this i'm talking about you got rizza now first of all rizza he is like the architect of the wu-tang sound you know the wu-tang is some of the most complex grimiest basement grungy hip-hop you've ever heard in your life RZA has created shit that you've never heard before. When you first heard Wu-Tang Clan, you had never heard no shit like that in your life. I know that's <laughs> what I was like. I was like, it, it took me a while to even catch up, you know, catch on to the music, to take it all in. I'm like, what am I listening to? And then you got DJ Premier. Now, DJ Premier, pretty much, he's the architect of the boom bap sound. You know what I mean? Like your KRS-One, people like that. That real, true hip-hop. Now, now Premier, he got a grimy sound as well. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's going to be a good one, man. Either way, it's going to be a good one. If I had to pick right now who I'm feeling, I would have to say... I would probably have to say RZA. And just because... And I'm just saying that because... One of my complaints about DJ Premier, as great as he is, as much of a staple of the culture that he is, um, you know, his stuff can sound the same. Premier got that same flow, that same tempo, them same drums, you know what I mean? He add a little sound here, a little scratch there. That's probably my only complaint with Premier. And with RZA, sometimes he go too far left. But either way, Man, it's going to be fucking bananas. I, I can't wait. <laughs> Straight up. RZA DJ Premier. I might shed a tear. I, I might be overwhelmed. It might be a little bit too much real hip-hop for me in one place at the same time. I might get overwhelmed to shed a tear. I don't know. <laughs> we going to see. But, hey, it, it's going down. Besides 50 Cent being uh, a great rapper, a great businessman, an executive producer... Uh, just about a genius, pretty much. One thing about 50, if you can follow him, 50 is the king of petty. He is the king of pettiness. He is the king of messiness. And this headline ain't none different. So, 50 Cent says he would rather have 6 9 than Marquise for a son. Oh, oh wait, wait, excuse me. 50 Cent says he would rather have Snitch 9 than Marquise for a son. Okay, so there's more bad blood between 50 Cent and his son. While going live on Instagram on Tuesday, the hip-hop mogul was asked if he had heard from Snitch 9 since he was released from prison to home confinement. He said, no, I ain't heard from him. He's his mother's child now. He told on everybody, said 50 Cent, <laughs> the rapper turned snitch. Okay, so then he proceeded to take a shot at, at his own son. Because that's what I'm saying, the messiness. He didn't have to say this. He could have left the comment where it was and went on with the interview or, or ended the interview or whatever. So then he goes on to say, uh, he then proceeded to take a shot at his own son Marquise Jackson, by the way, that looks like 50. You know, this is 50's older son. He's like around 24. He straight up look like get rich or die trying 50. Like, spitting image. So, okay, so the mother um, is Shaniqua Tompkins. That's the baby mama of this son. So, he says, he's better than Marquise, though. I'll take him before I take 
my actual son, he laughed. Fuck that nigga. 50? Come, bruh, fuck that nigga to your son? Like he just, whoever? Wow. So it says, it wasn't long before Marquise caught wind of the comments and clapped back on his Instagram story. I just woke up. I had a long day on the gram yesterday. I ain't get the chance to uh, hop in the most gangstest live ever. But everybody tagged me in it, so. Did he just say he a claim a rat? Oh, no. Nah, I don't want no parts of that cheese y'all eating over here, big fella. I don't know what y'all got going on. I don't know what y'all got going on over there. That's, that's some other shit. Stupid! Crazy. So 50 and Marquis' exchange relationship has been chronicled for years, including heated exchanges on social media. In 2017, Marquis dropped a debut single called Different. Now this is, you know, now, now keep in mind, I am a hip hop head. I'm that hip hop rap dude. Always got my ear to the street. It ain't too much to get by me that I don't know about. I, I've never heard this song. I didn't know 50 Sun rap like that. But he he kind of dissed 50 on this song. He was saying, I lost my pops, but he's still alive. Said you're gonna miss me way later. Down the line, that's fine. I lost my pops, he's still alive. Say they for a different song, a different time. And funny how everybody don't know me sitting chime. And crazy how what they speak of help me write these lines. What's the difference between me and you? You talk a good one, but you don't do what you supposed to do. I act on Marquis spoke with his dad during a 2017 interview with Wrap Up. Okay, so growing up, my dad was my superhero, he said. It was like having a father who was Superman, more or less. But then, as I got older, you start realizing things or you start seeing certain patterns and it takes an effect on your relationship with people. That's what happened with me and my father. Hey, and hey, you know what it is, what it is. I can relate to that. You know what I'm saying? I, I can definitely relate to that. And I guess for 50 to make that kind of comment, obviously, if... You know, when your son was growing up, y'all had some kind of relationship. Maybe it wasn't the best. He's saying he looked up to you. Y'all was cool. Everything was cool. So somewhere along the lines, you did 50 did something to him or 50 did something to create some kind of misunderstanding between the two where obviously it didn't hinder the relationship. You know what I mean? I don't know how much effort 50 has made to mend the relationship, but either way, e even if he's made an effort and his son is not receptive or whatever, to, to make that kind of comment to the public, man, talking about fuck that nigga and talk about you would rather have a Takashi Snitch 9 as your son instead of your actual son, 50, that's the messiest of the messiest, the pettiest of the pettiest. Like, you, you top yourself with this one, bro. That's that's deep, bro. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, you know, the old saying, I've been victim to that. I've seen other people victim to that, that blood is thicker than water. And that is not the case all the time. Just to give y'all an example. So, in the last two years, uh, I've lost my grandparents. Uh, one year, my first it was my grandmother and then my grandfather when God rest they soul. Um, so at the time, my cousin, who was basically raised by my grandparents, he got into it with my mama over some crazy petty stuff. Petty stuff, you know what I mean? So um, from there, and don't get me wrong, he got issues, but from there, he pretty much like flipped it and just was like, you know, I got into it with your mama. So basically fuck all of y'all. And when I say all of y'all, I'm talking about like me and my sisters and all that. So here and there, I've like texted him last couple years just to check on him, see how he's doing. He's definitely, he's younger than me. I feel like sometimes I had a hand in raising him. So it went from that to, you know, with all this coronavirus shit going on, you start thinking about life. You start thinking about your loved ones, different things like that. Um, so I just reached out to him uh, today, like, uh, 
you know, what's going on, you know, uh, how's life, you know, this coronavirus is some shit, feel like the end of the world, like we in some movie, you and the fam, okay, you got, you know, he got kids and everything, he got a um, wife or whatever, fiance, I don't even know that, that status. Um, so he replies back, oh, just to make it clear, yeah, I don't fuck with y'all. <laughs> I'm like, wow, okay. Yeah, I don't fuck with y'all. So keep your niceties to yourself. And I'm like, okay, bro. And and I didn't even, I ain't, I ain't about to go back and forth with him. I ain't about to cuss him out. I just was like, okay, bro. I was like, that's cool. I was like, I fuck with people that fuck with me, family or not. I was like, I was just checking on you. Um, I still got mad love for you. You need anything, you know my number. Um, but I was like, and at the same time, man, I hope you get some help for your issues and everything. I was like, cause I ain't never done shit to you, bro. I ain't never done nothing but try to get you game, um, be there for you as much as I could. So, you know, shit be crazy, but hey, but they say family is everything. Family can be a, a bitch sometimes. It is. Okay. So one day, y'all, I, I plan to be on this list. I don't grind the way I grind for nothing. So today, Forbes magazine, they released Forbes World Billionaire List, the richest billionaires in every state. I'm rich, bitch! <laughs> so obviously, I'm not going to go over every single state. Um, I'm going to go over the states I mess with, the states I've either been to, lived in or do business in. Uh, so we're gonna go with California first. Shouts out to my girl Sue in West Hollywood. I miss you, I'm gonna get out there and holla at you. Uh, so in California, uh, Larry Ellison, the city he lives in is Woodside. His net worth, good Lord, 59 billion. His overall rank on the list is five. His source of wealth is software. The tech world, man, the tech world took over the world. Most of the billionaires, stupid money having people are in tech or real estate. Kids, remember that, tech or real estate. That's where the money is at. So next up, we are gonna go with Georgia. Uh, so with Georgia, uh, it's Jim Kennedy uh, in the city from Atlanta. His net worth is $7.6 billion. His overall rank on the billionaire list is one eighty five, dollars And his source of wealth is media and automotive. That's what I'm talking about, media. I want to be on this billionaire list one day with that, with that name. Drew Soul Quest, billionaire media. Yeah, that's the goal. Uh, next up, we're going to go to Indiana. Uh, we got Carl Cook uh, in Bloomington. Uh, his net worth is $8 billion. Uh, his overall rank on the list is 169 His source of wealth is medical devices. Okay, I bet he's making some money through this time with this uh, corona. So all kind of medical devices and tools and shit being used right through here. I'm Drew SoulQuest. You've been watching Trending Talk. Make sure you subscribe to the Culture 73 YouTube at Culture 73 TV. Make sure you check out Culture73.com.